What's up guys, it's Wiggle with Wiggles Outdoors uh, doing a review of the Housefly today. This is the ENO Housefly, Eagle Nest Outdoors, or Outfitters, I'm sorry. Uh, this tarp is kind of like the Superfly model of the Warbonnet series. It's a little bit cheaper, by about $20. You also don't have to wait for it to be made. But again, I do support the Warbonnet series because uh, it's an excellent tarp. This is a little bit smaller and actually weighs just a little bit less. Uh, it's made out of a neoprylon material. It's very waterproof. And this is the housefly model, so it's not just the rainfly. That means it has the doors on it. Uh, we'll go over some features of this in this video and show you how awesome this thing is. This will be my first night in this thing, so we're definitely going to do some more reviews in the future with it. But just first look impressions, I, I absolutely love it. So we'll start off with the uh, strap suspension systems, and I'll show that to you. So the straps uh, for the actual tarp itself runs around the tree here. You just do uh, your simple trucker's knot and loop it in. And it and runs it back actually through run. here. It also is a uh, short ridge line, so it's not a continuous. That means it just runs from the tree to this point here. So it saves a little bit of weight in the long run, but you can still have the option of running a continuous ridge line if you would like. Uh, solely up to you. You just tie your Prusik knots through here. Uh, these little knots come out here that you tie your little trucker's hitches in, and it has a buckle here that you can uh, fully adjust by just pulling on this, lifting up on this. It's a uh, slip knot buckle. We'll also show the All doors right, guys, to you. Here. Uh, this is the actual doors. On the ENO housefly, uh, they over overlap, and they also have the option to where you can roll them up. And I'll show that to you in just a moment. Uh, I actually don't have any good stakes with me right now. I have my Coughlin stakes on the other side here, the ultra lightweight ones, uh, and that's actually holding up the four core points. But you need about six stakes for this thing in total. Uh, not too bad. You can actually fashion those out of sticks if you want to go ultra lightweight. But to me, that's just too much hassle. I'd rather carry my weight in. Anyways, uh, this actually also has a slip resistant or a slip resistant buckles on it as well. They overlap. I don't have this one fully overlapping right now, but it's definitely just enough to uh, keep some of the wind out but have a little bit of uh, airflow through. I have about a foot off the ground of the tarp right now. Uh, it, it's a really awesome setup. I mean, it's excellent fabric, and I'll show you the sides of it, and I'll also show you how it folds up, and I'll show you the other side when it's rolled up, what it looks like. But that's the doors to it. This is the slip resistant buckles I keep talking about. They just kind of run through. Uh, you just take and pull this tie right through here, and it works really good. Then it pans up, and uh, you can see that this is nice and taut with that set up. And I'll show that to you This better. is the side of it, uh, how it runs down. You can also see the distance from the bottom here. And I'll show you the inside view in just a moment. I'm going to show you the This is the doors on the other side. If you actually roll them up, they have a buckle here. This really nice. comes uh, clenched in here, and uh, you just hold it tight. You want a quick uh, setup, you just simply unbutton that, stake it out, and you're good to go. It also works really well for uh, snake skins if you want to put snake skins in it. Again, ENO housefly. I've got an ENO bug net on mine. I'm not using the actual ENO hammock. I'm using a ultralight grand trunk in there. It's a little cheaper, a lot of weight, that kind of thing. So I'm using it. But my hammock setup is not too expensive, uh, nor is it too heavy with this setup either. So let's go show you. And this is what here. it looks like on the inside of it, just resting, relaxing. Bug net goes to my little uh, whoopee sling ridge line I've got here that sets my hammock at an automatic angle. I didn't really strap it on because I didn't need to, but when I lay back in my hammock here, you can see that it does brush up against my arms a little, but I will adjust that in just a moment to where it doesn't do that. Uh, definitely not for the claustrophobic sleepers if you want a bug net, but it's also for the ones that don't want to get bitten by the mosquitoes. Uh, this side's the one that's got the, the wind coming through so it doesn't come down at my head, but actually if I get colder, I'll put my head that way because I've got my mummy bag in it. It would work better that way. You can see that I have plenty of room on the ground to the tarp, so I have lots of ventilation in here. It's not supposed to get too cold tonight, so uh, I really don't need the winter doors on here, but it is supposed to thunderstorm, so we'll test that out later. If so I do suggest this tarp definitely as a first review. The takedown and ta uh, put away seems pretty easy to ta put it up. It's uh, just strap around three, tighten up your stuff. Uh, to take it down, you simply just unstrap the cords from the tree, uh, uh, take down the tarps, take it apart. Roll it up, you know, stuff it into the stuff sack that it comes in. Uh, ultimately, it packs up pretty small. It's really lightweight. It's nice. I like it so far. Not had any issues with it yet. Uh, we'll test it out in some harder conditions and see how it is rainproof, all that good stuff. But uh, I definitely enjoyed it so far. In the tarp, it didn't rain. No major winds or anything. But uh, it definitely was a beautiful night's sleep. It offers a lot of light protection from you, and I'll show you that on the inside. Coming into the opening. Plenty of room, uh, kind of just halfway been over now. Of course, you can always raise that higher if you're one of those weirdos that like to stand up. But yeah, tons of light protection in here. It's a beautiful uh, tarp, ultra lightweight. Love it. Definitely could get you one, guys. That's the Housefly by Eno.